a kindergarten. So the next character in the Bible we are going to learn about is Elijah. And Elijah was a prophet for God. So what a prophet does is they are messengers for God. So um, our prophet Elijah, he went and talked to a king and queen, and he brought a message from God. Now prophets can go to kings and queens, groups of people, just one person, and it's just whoever um, God tells this prophet to go to and give them a message from God. So our prophet, Elijah, went to an evil king and queen. This evil king and queen, their names were Ahab and Jezebel. And they ruled over Israel. So remember, the kingdom divided in two. And over here, we only had two tribes of Judah. That was one part. And then there were ten tribes of Israel. So we're talking about this big part of the kingdom, Israel. Okay, so Ahab and Jezebel, Jezebel reigned over Israel. So our prophet Elijah went to the kingdom of Israel and talked to Ahab and Jezebel. Ahab and Jezebel were evil and they worshipped fake gods. They worshipped a god, a fake god, not the real one true god. Um, they worshipped the fake god Baal. So what um, Elijah had to say to them was that there would be a drought and that meant that there would be there would be no rain for a very long time. And because of this drought, all of their food, their crops, and their plants were going to die. So, because there was no rain, there was going to be no food. And we've learned about what that word is when there's no food. It's called a famine. And so, Elijah went to them, said there's not going to be any rain until he says so. And that was his message from God. And then God told Elijah to leave the king and queen and go to a place called Kareth. And in Kareth, there was a brook. And that's just another word for stream. So, Elijah listened to God and went to Kareth. And there, God provided for him. Because, remember, there was no food and there was no water because of the drought and the famine. So, God provided for Elijah by giving him this water, that was the brook, and God told the ravens, the birds, to bring Elijah meat. So he was able to eat and he was able to drink because God is good and Elijah followed the good and true God. So, on Elijah's journey, he eventually kept going and he met a woman. And this woman was a widow. And that means that her husband passed away. And so she had a son, but they were very, very poor because they didn't have her husband to provide for them. So he couldn't go to work and bring home money for them to buy food. So this woman had a son. And Elijah was talking to her, and she told him that she only had a little bit of flour left and a little bit of oil left. So flour and oil are two very important ingredients in making bread. So if I have this much flour, it's not even filling halfway of my container. So, here I'll put it here so you can see a little better. So I don't have much flour and if I had oil in this cup it wouldn't be much oil. So, do you think that if I had this amount of flour and a cup of oil that I could make bread for an entire year out of just this much flour and this much oil? Probably not. 
I would bet that I could only make about one, maybe two loaves of bread out of this much flour and this much oil. So I really couldn't last um, making bread on with such little ingredients. But in the next video that I'm going to assign to you, you are going to see what God does for this woman and her son with just a little bit of flour and just a little bit of oil. I hope you're excited for the rest of the story.